Stenning is a large village in Sussex with an unexpectedly deep pilgrim history. It was an important Saxon minster built and formed by a homegrown Sussex saint, Cuthman. A pilgrim guild to Cuthman existed until the Reformation, and the parish of Chidham, where he was born, still receives payments for the loss of his shrine. Cuthman was born, as I said, in Chidham, where as a shepherd he could circle his sheep with his staff and then never stray. He also had a standing stone of great power, now sadly lost. When his father died and his mother got sick, Cuthman built a wheelbarrow to transport her. When its rope broke, local scything men mocked Cuthman's replacing it with a twisted elder rod. <laughs> That'll never work. Then God sent rain to blight their work, and Cuthman went forward, surviving by begging. When his elder rope finally broke, there he built Stenning Church. During the building process, he would hang his gloves on sunbeams whilst he prayed, and pick them up later. When a timber broke during the building, a foreign pilgrim arrived saying they could fix it, and they did. It turned out to be St. Andrew, who claimed the dedication to the church. Cuthman shares many parallels with Bridget of Ireland. He may well have been a Celtic saint rather than a Saxon one. His church became glorious. King Ethelwulf is buried here, Alfred's father. In the 850s, Viking raids made old Saxon minsters more like royal centres, and coins were minted here from Canute onwards. Another tale tells of the Devil's Dyke in Sussex being the devil attempting to flood Christian Sussex, but Cuthman kept vigil and debated with the devil until sunrise when he fled. Cuthman's feast day is February the 8th. Stenning Church also boasts Sussex's oldest door and an oak screen built for Henry VIII's marriage to Catherine of Aragorn, which went rapidly out of fashion when he married Anne Boleyn, but it's pretty much glorious. And that is Stenning Church and its amazing pilgrim history of St. Cuthman.